Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, I will explain the option Polygon in Creo Parametric. How to create a polygon with a number of sides and extruding that polygon. In Creo, we can use Polygon option in Sketcher Workbench. First, get into Sketcher Workbench, selecting Plane. Select sketch, here we can see the option palette, select that option, in palette you can see a defined profiles in this, here profile, C profile, I profile, L profile like that, uh, profiles, shapes, we have different shapes we can directly uh, dump this shape into the sketcher workbench get into polygon three sides four sides five sides six sides and seven up to ten we have continuously after that we have we can create a polygon with 12 sides 16 sides 20 sides that's it see 12 sides polygon need to create or 16 sides like this just select on the screen just drag that uh, uh, polygon whatever required see uh, then close this you can drag this see to increase the scale 16 size polygon uh, you can just drag or if you want to rotate we can rotate like this then to get a exact dimension, see, suppose a polygon, a number of sides of the polygon, either we measure this polygon with a, a full radius circle, diameter or a radius of the circle uh, or the side length or whatever. Next, we need to go into this select option. Then you can see the dimension here, uh, automatic, automatic dimension you can able to see from the axis uh, and here. It is measured with uh, side length. Then I want to keep this axis at the uh, center of this polygon to the axis center. Then I select here. Coincidence. Select this point. Axis. And this axis. Point. Now it is centered. Polygon. 16 sides polygon then see here you can see a circle we can select onto that circle and press scroll button we get a dimension to keep this dimension you need to you need to delete this 27.8 uh, dimension see This one we need to delete. If you want to show with dia, we need to delete this 27 dimension. And you should not delete these equal lens constraints. We need to keep as it is uh, geometrical constraints. We need to keep uh, to show polygon with the dia. Then I don't want the side length. I delete this. Now you can give the size. I want uh, the size of this 16 sides polygon, the diameter 80, then go for 80. Then you can see 16 sides with uh, 80 dia. I want this line to the parallel to this axis, then go for parallel, select this line and select axis. Now it got set. No need to give uh, the other dimensions. See now. We, we got a strong dimension then we can see number of sides 16 sides polygon then go for ok if it is measured with uh, side length then we need to we need to keep this dimension then we have to delete uh, this 80 dimension see 16 sides uh, with the 80 dia and the length will be uh, the length of the side will be 31.214 so I delete this and I keep this if you increase this 
then the dye changes any one parameter we need to keep or else uh, uh, some polygons uh, may be measured with uh, uh, horizontal axis line this distance center to end surface center to this is a flat surface end surface uh, this one if you want to keep this dimension I, if you don't want to show polygon in diameter or a side length then delete this side length Thirty-one, delete. Then you can adjust this. I want this to set to eighty, like this. See if this is the eighty length, then the dia is slightly bigger, eighty-one point five seven. See uh, this uh, dia means nothing but for, uh, the distance from this point, the end point to end point. So I go for undo now. Go for OK. Now you can extrude. See like this. Afterwards, if you want shell, if you want to make this halo with some thickness, some five mm thickness I want or three mm thickness, so we can create a polygon like this. So normally. Uh, in sketcher it is defined in sketcher it is defined with uh, 12 16 as we have seen uh, getting into sketch palettes polygon uh, 3 4 3 to 10 we have then only 12 16 and 20 like this uh, we need to use a polygon in creo parametric software Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, share and subscribe Imperial CAD system.